Hi, I'm Dr. Kellen Kinsales of Integrative Health and Wellness Center, and today we're going to discuss bone health. So, the specific conditions that we'll talk about today are osteoporosis, osteopenia, and bone spurs. So, osteopenia and osteoporosis are both conditions which involve the demineralization of your bone and the, and the weakening of the bone tissue itself. So, how this happens is actually um, through acidic environments within the body. So, when your body is acidic, what it'll do is it'll pull calcium from your bones and put it into the into your blood. And when the calcium is floating around in the blood, one thing that can happen is it can be deposited in areas of inflammation, um, which will actually generate bone growth and bone spurs. And it can also lead to arterial sclerosis, which is the deposition of calcium onto your arteries, which is secondary to inflammation within the arteries themselves. So. Our bodies are very acidic today, and one of the main reasons for that is that we eat a very highly acidic diet. And what I mean by that is that we're eating foods that break down into sugar very rapidly. And through that sugar breakdown process, hydrogen atoms are released. When hydrogen atoms are released into an environment, the environment becomes more acidic. So what the body does to compensate for that is it'll pull calcium out of the bones and put it into the blood because calcium is alkaline and it'll act like a buffer. Over time, if we continue to have an acidic environment within our bodies, we're going to continue to demineralize our bones and they're going to become weaker and weaker and weaker. So what we want to do is we want to eat a diet that is not going to increase the acidity of our body. And to do that, we're going to increase the amount of good fats. And by good fats, I mean um, things like avocado oil, coconut oil, sesame seed oil, good quality butters, things like that. And we can utilize fat for energy instead of sugar. So there are three major nutrients that are needed to uh, basically absorb calcium um, from the gut and put it into the bones. So one main thing that's needed is fat because without fat, calcium is never going to be absorbed um, from the intestinal tract into the blood. And then once the calcium is in the blood, we need vitamin D to put it into the bone tissue itself. So those are all very important. And another health, helpful nutrient is vitamin K. And of course, you want calcium present. If you're going to supplement with calcium, the best form that I feel um, is most easily absorbed by the body is something called calcium lactate. Not so much calcium citrate. It doesn't work as well. So check your bottles if you're supplementing with that. One of the best meals that you can have that would be high in calcium and fat would be um, some good sautéed kale with a lot of good quality um, pasture-raised organic butter. That's butter is going to be very high in vitamin A, D, and K. Um, so that will really help your bones out. Exercise would also be very important because the more bone muscles are pulling on your bones, the more your bones are going to reinforce themselves and, and thicken and strengthen themselves up. And then organ function is also good, going to be very important for bone health because we want to balance our pH levels not only from what we're eating, what we want our organs um, to do it themselves as well. And the main organs that balance our pH are our liver, our kidneys, and our lungs. So those are very important. We want those functioning optimally. Our parathyroid gland will regulate our blood calcium levels, so that needs to be functioning optimally as well. And our gallbladder needs to be working so we can break down those fats, and emulsify those fats so the calcium can be absorbed. If you need any help with those things, we're here for you. You can give us a call anytime, and I hope this helps.